Well, now a Pennsylvania family is mourning the loss of a little boy killed in a lightning strike on the Outer Banks. Authorities say it happened yesterday on Corova Beach. A 10 on your side, Darren Kelly, learned more about the rescue efforts there. It was right around 4.15 in the afternoon yesterday when first responders got the call several miles up the beach from here. They say the family saw the approaching thunderstorms and was trying to get out of here when the day turned tragic. It was supposed to be a day of fun, vacation for a visiting Pennsylvania family. Thunderstorms were rapidly approaching. The family was on the beach. Uh, they were trying to evacuate the beach at the time uh, that the lightning struck. Deputy Chief Tim Riley says there were seven people leaving Corova Beach. A five-year-old boy, Stephen Little, and his father were the last to get in the car when lightning struck the child in the chest, sending him into cardiac arrest. The family called directly to the station in Corova, and our crews were treating another uh, patient, and um, they understood it was a low-priority call and immediately responded and uh, had lifeguards on the scene that were performing CPR. But because of the bad weather, helicopters couldn't fly him to a hospital an hour away in either direction. Riley says crews worked to save the child's life as they drove him to Santerra Princess Anne in Virginia Beach. Our focus is on airway protection and defibrillation, restarting the heart. At the hospital, staff determined little didn't make it. This is just a, a, a terrible event. It's just a tragic event. It takes its toll on everybody from the first responders to family, obviously. Kirtuck County Fire and EMS tell me that lightning strikes are uncommon, but they do train for them. They say that their first priority is always to fly someone out of here. But again, because of yesterday's bad weather, they were unable to do so. In Kirtuck County, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.